I'm going to do a demonstration here to show how electrostatic force can act just like gravity and it can act on just about any, attract any material. Now what I have here is I have a straw and uh, what I've done is that I've rubbed it in my hair and what I can show you is that the straw is attracted to uh, my hand which is neutrally charged matter. And uh, this is an interesting little party trick that you can do. But uh, let me charge up my straw a little bit more here. What's interesting is that uh, it'll work on uh, other things that you would normally think have to be neutrally charged, like uh, this uh, knife, which is made out of all metal. You can see it's, it attracts the straw as well, just like my hand. And in fact, it doesn't seem to matter what material you use, like this is a glass. Um, the glass, it's attracted to glass. Um, it's attracted to uh, wood. And uh, it's even attracted to garlic salt. So you can see that uh, this electrostatic attraction works on practically everything. Now, so that's uh, demonstrating attraction of a charged object to uh, some neutral object. So I'm going to do something different, which is we have our, our knife here, which we're pretty sure is, is not charged. And I'm going to charge up my comb. And we'll see whether we get an attraction of a neutral object to a charged object. And there indeed, we can see that this knife, which is made out of metal, it's not charged in any way, is attracted very strongly to this comb. That's because what I'm demonstrating here is that the electrostatic force can generate attractive force just like gravity no matter what the material is. So I've got like a wood dowel here and basically the same thing happens. Very strongly attracted to the to the comb, and uh, so uh, that concludes my demonstration of how uh, electrostatics works on practically anything. It doesn't matter what it's made out of.